looking is as insincere apology. With no tears in depth revelation, two victims spoke up to accuse Dukan Isa of sexual harassment. Dukan Isa's misconduct is both a crude violation to dignity and safety and a severe smear of workplace environment. In the face of very football evidence, Dukan Isa was not as active as he had been. Instead, he remained silent to evade morale and illegal responsibility. Pressed by growing public criticism, Dukan Isa had to respond and release a so-called apology on Twitter. But instead of quelling the public anger, the apology intensified conflicts because of its empty content and perfunctory manner. He touched his misconduct lightly as serious errors of judgment, as if it had been a minor fault, and did not admit at all that it had done great harm to others psychologically and physically. What's most unbearable is that Dokun Isa emphasized that he deeply regretted sending messages that caused discomfort and distress, while I never acted upon them. This is undoubtedly an excuse to minimize the severity of sexual offense. Dokun Isa's apology exposes his ignorance and indifference to sexual equality and respect to human rights instead of making him free from the influence of sexual abuse. He tramples others' dignity and rights by exploiting power. The international community must take strong measures against this kind of severe sexual harassment so that the victims enjoy due justice and respect.